episode of Financial Freeway. My name is David J. Atwood. I am the man rocking the ring bands. And today, I'm also rocking my uh, Vietnam uh, hat that was uh, uh, gallantly fought for. And uh, I defeated the vendor on a bargaining negotiating, which I love doing. I love that. I love getting into the, the nitty gritty of uh, bartering and haggling with... Uh, the vendors it was uh it's one of my favorite parts of the trip actually so gabby and i are back and we are uh cleaning up the uh the house we're doing some spring cleaning which i like uh cleaned out the garage put the clean the kitchen completely from stem to stern which is i think it's where the bulk of cleaning needs to happen with spring cleaning you know the kitchen you know then you gotta go to the bathroom and you know start recocking the tile and you know just I don't know, replace the wax ring on your toilet. Like, just do some, some real cool stuff. But uh, something interesting happened as I was cleaning out the garage. I, I got a, a message from uh, my uh, my lawn guy, my lawn maintenance guy. And I was thinking about it. He came over while I was working, while me and Gabby were working on uh, on the new website. Oh, by the way, that just, I don't even go off and couple of tangents I'm so excited right now um new website atwoodmagic.com has just uh just gone live very excited about that because we're going to be launching our magic show this year so that's really cool but we're working on the website and the long guy comes and I know this guy he's a really great guy and you know he was taking care of the lawn while we were gone you know so you know people didn't think my house was abandoned and when we got back, I was kind of like, well, let's just, just keep it rolling. So for that extra hour that it cost, I mean, he did the yard like expertly, super quick. He's got the right equipment. He came in and he had it done in an hour. And I pay him handsomely for it. You know, it's it's uh, you know, it's like a quarter of an acre. Sorry, it's a third of an acre lot, a little bit over a third of an acre. And, and it's on a hill, so it's a lot to do. And he comes in buzzes that lawn edges it trims it and it took him an hour and i realized how much value i'm getting out of having him come and do that for me because it's only an hour for him to come and do it but i mean he comes with all his equipment ready to rock and roll he puts on his sound canceling headphones and he just goes to town and does it whereas for me it would mean pulling out the lawnmower, trying it, you know, is the blade sharp enough? Does the blade have to be rebalanced? You know, it's, uh, you know, like right now my spark plug went on my um, my lawnmower, so it means I have to get a new, lawn, uh, new spark plug. It, there's a lot of little things that go into it. So it can, what could be an hour now takes, you know, a couple hours, maybe two and a half hours. It takes a lot. But having someone else do it, it regardless of how long they take to do it, being an expert they're gonna be a lot quicker better equipment but them doing it frees you up to do things that are going to make you more money and I think that's really the key and it's it's like with my cars and my motorcycles I used to love to uh, put the motorcycle up on a jack stand drain all the fluids out of it and just I just really go to town uh, fixing it up and, and tuning it Honestly, now I have more fun just, you know, enjoying it and driving around with it or riding it, depending if it's a motorcycle. And I would rather do that, drop the bike off at a mechanic shop, have them do all the work so I can really get down to enjoying it. And I can spend that time where I would be, you know, tinkering. I can be go, go doing some uh, repairs on the... Uh, on, on some of the places I, I manage, right? Some of the properties I manage. And if I can do that, then I'm saving money. And so paying someone else to do that work is I'm actually paying myself to do it. So sometimes when we're hiring someone, we're paying someone to do a job that we actually can do, we're actually paying ourselves the, the opportunity to go and do something that we're really good at. And that's what, uh, uh, that's what I was doing today, and I, and I just thought, you know, a little quick little drop, uh, drop a quick little sh- uh, uh, podcast about that, and let you guys know that 
you know, it's okay to hire someone to do your brakes or your oil. You know, I like doing those things and you can do them. And sometimes they don't take that long, but if you can do it and while you're doing that, like me and today, me and Gabby were working on the website, that's going to be, um, paying ourselves to do the work sort of thing. So, um, and so we can, we can make more money by getting that business up and running than we can by me out there mowing the lawn. Now, don't get me wrong. There's still a lot of benefits to doing your own work but when you get to a certain level um hiring someone else you're actually helping them out as well you're helping their business out as well and you're helping yourself so don't be afraid to start looking into things like that like you know having someone in clean come in and clean your house uh do your laundry um uh, you know, do your lawn maintenance, things like that could actually make uh, free up a lot of spare time for you and a lot of headspace too. So you can be really focused on doing the things you need to do. And there's something I tell you, when I walked out today, I, w I walked out to actually thank the gardener for doing such a great job, but he had, he just threw all his equipment in the truck and took off. So it's really nice to come out and have that, that, uh, that space in your mind too, that everything's going to be okay. And you're, you're a little bit more relaxed. I really enjoyed it. I think it's good. I think you should give yourselves the luxury of hiring people to do the work that, uh, um, well, that you, you don't have time to do. Or <sighs> your time can be better spent building businesses, making money. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyways, folks, thanks so much for uh, stopping by and checking this out. Uh, check with the new website, atwoodmagic.com. We just launched it today. Very excited about it. We got a lot of uh, archaic, uh, our archival photos on there, but we're going to be upgrading when we get uh, some more shows under our belt and uh, we can get some more photos up there. It's going to be a little bit uh, fun, but go check it out. Tell me what you think. Uh, uh, leave something in the comments. Yes. And we're live right now. Oh, that's so exciting. So, uh, so go check out the website. Tell me what you think. And again, also check out financialfreeway23.ca. That website's still uh, crushing it. Um, I know I talked about putting out the uh, my portfolio breakdown. I thought against it. I, I was going to do it. I was going to give everyone my portfolio because it's doing really well. But I don't want to get into the uh, uh, that that trap of being a financial advisor. What I would say is go check out my book, Conversations with Keegan, because I got a breakdown of um, not exactly the stocks I buy, but where I invest, the, the, the markets I invest in, so you guys can, I would feel more comfortable with that. Check out the book. Also, if you like what I'm doing, again, boom, smash that uh, thumbs up, I like that. And as always, very important, spread the good word. Tell everyone what you're hearing here. Spread the weird word because it's our mission here at the Financial Free Way that everyone uh, understands that they have an inalienable right to live a life of abundance. Thank you so much. And wherever you are in the world, uh, check out outwithmagic.com and have yourself a wonderful day. God bless.